Who are you signalling to, Barrymore? Oh, it's my fault, sir. Zeldon, the prisoner who escaped. He's my brother, sir. We signal to tell him we're bringing food. I love him. Poor Mrs. Barrymore. But we must catch Sheldon. He's dangerous to society. Look, there he is. Ah! Are you all right? He's escaped, Doctor. We'll never find him now. Shh. Someone's watching us. It isn't Selden, and it isn't a policeman. I'm going to find out who it is. Be careful, Watson. At first light. Food and blankets. This is someone's hiding place. Footsteps. He's coming. Good morning, Dr. Watson. Please don't shoot me. Dr. Watson is about to shoot when he hears a familiar voice. Holmes, how long have you been here? Ever since you arrived. But I didn't want anyone to know I was here. The post office gave me your letters every day. I know who wants to kill Sir Henry. Help! What's that? The Baskerville Hound. Hurry! No! Sir Henry! Oh no! He's dead, I'm afraid. But it isn't Sir Henry. It's Selden. He's wearing Sir Henry's old clothes. Did Barrymore give them to him? The dog thought it was chasing Sir Henry. That's why someone stole Sir Henry's boot in London, Watson. For the dog to smell. I heard shouting and came to help. What's happened, Mr. Holmes? Is that Sir Henry? No, it's Selden. We must tell the police. He knows who I am. Why don't you and Dr. Watson come to dinner tonight? And Sir Henry, of course. Thank you, but Watson and I must return to London at once. We will tell Sir Henry about your kind invitation, though. I'll tell Mrs. Barrymore about Selden, her brother. The poor woman will be very upset. Yes. Watson? Come and look at this. Without the hair, Hugo Baskerville is just like Stapleton. But how elementary, my dear Watson. Stapleton is really a Baskerville. He killed Sir Charles, and we must stop him before he murders Sir Henry too. Holmes and Watson tell Sir Henry about Stapleton's invitation to dinner. But I don't want to go to Stapleton's house alone. Don't worry, Sir Henry. If you do what I've told you, you'll be perfectly safe, I promise. Now, I must send for the police. I'd like to send a telegram to Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard in London, please. It's urgent. Come to Baskerville Hall immediately. Stop Holmes. That evening. Well, Sir Henry has arrived. I hope we can keep him safe. Is Stapleton really so dangerous? Yes, Lestrade. Now get down. Go and take a look, Watson. Then come back and report. Where is Beryl Stapleton? I can't see her anywhere. 
and I heard a strange noise from a shed in the garden. There's something in there. Thank you for dinner, Stapleton. I say, what terrible fog. Yes. Don't get lost on the moor and end up in Grimpen Mire. Oh no. If this fog gets thicker, it will ruin our plans. Are your guns ready, gentlemen? Help! It's the basketball hound. We have to save Sir Henry. Watson, Lestrade, shoot! A hound with eyes of fire was chasing Sir Henry in the thick fog. Is Sir Henry alive? Yes. We shot the hound just in time. It was a real dog. Look. Phosphorus. Stapleton painted this dog's eyes to make it look like the hound in the legend. Thank you for saving my life. Quickly. We must catch Stapleton before he gets away. Mm. There's someone upstairs in the attic. Your perfume. You sent the warning letter to Sir Henry. Why did your husband tie you up? I wanted to stop him from killing Sir Henry. He used the dog before to kill Sir Charles. But why? He's Roger Baskerville's son. With Sir Henry dead, Baskerville Hall would be his. Where is he now? In Grimpen Mire. You won't catch him tonight in this fog. Then we'll wait until morning. In the morning. Jack put these sticks here. They show the only safe way through the mire. There are no footprints in this mud, Holmes, and I'm afraid of getting caught in the quicksand. Don't worry, Lestrade. If he's still alive, we'll find him. Look, Holmes, Stapleton's scarf in the middle of the quicksand. Obviously, he lost his way in the fog and fell in. We'll never find his body in there. <laughs> 